our practice uses digital infrared thermal imaging, better known as thermography, to check for many things, including breast problems, circulatory problems, musculoskeletal problems, and anything that is outside of a bone. If a bone is in front of an organ tissue, it will not show up on a thermogram. Many women come in for thermography to avoid having mammograms because it does not use radiation, it doesn't touch, and it doesn't hurt. In this picture, you're seeing a woman standing in front of the thermogram unit, which looks like a camera, but it doesn't take photographic pictures. It takes temperatures and turns them into a colored, almost psychedelic appearing picture. Let's see how this works. This is a normal thermogram. Uh, the thermogram unit scans back and forth, back and forth very quickly, and at every little pixel point along the way, it takes a temperature. The temperatures are then assigned colors based upon this scale along the left-hand side. The hottest part of the picture, which is usually underneath the breast where the brassiere touches the skin, is arbitrarily given the color white, and then every half a degree as the color gets colder in the picture, it assigns a different color. So underneath the breast, you get whites and reds, and in the armpit, you get reds and oranges, and all the rest of the places, you see greens, yellows, and blues, with blue being the coldest. Now this is the left breast, which is totally normal. You can see the nipple, you can see the glands in the breast, and you can see the tissues that are surrounding the glands. This is what a normal breast looks like. You come over here, and you can see, however, that the glands have these red streaks running through them. What are they? Those are veins. Women have veins in their, in their breasts, and sometimes they're closer to the skin, and every breast and every woman is different. And you notice this is a normal thermogram, and in this particular case, the way we know that it's normal is that this is not the first thermogram this woman has had. This is the three-month follow-up that is necessary to establish a baseline so you can come in once a year. If she comes back next time and this little streak right here begins to look like what's normal here in the armpit, that it would indicate that something is growing. But as long as it stays the same exactly like this, this is her fingerprint of her breast for the rest of her life, and if it keeps looking like this on all subsequent pictures, it means she's normal, and she need not be that concerned. Now, I must state up front that thermograms are not 100%, but then again, neither are mammograms. It's been shown that both thermograms and mammograms have about an 86 to 87% accuracy, but when you do them together, you can get that accuracy level up to 95%. I mean, the question always is, do I have breast cancer? And, and all we can say is that to a great degree of certainty, you do not. If you have ongoing pictures that look like this, and you can continue to avoid mammograms, but sometimes they are necessary. Let's look at the next picture. I mean, these are totally normal breasts. These breasts here are three-sided objects, of course, and when they get out in the cold air of the room, they look blue, and blue appearance is, is very normal. Now, I like to make a little funny story about these pictures. I usually tell my patients in the office that if these be your breasts on your way out, a check out at the front desk and order 11 by 14s, and then go up to Target up on Bell Road near our office and buy a picture frame and be proud. These are perfectly normal, and these are desirable pictures that you would want to see for a long time to come. Now this right here and the next picture here are what cancer looks like. If you had one cell in the middle of your breast that decided today it was going to become cancer, it would double and double and double and double and double and double and double very quickly to the point that after about nine months you would have maybe 10 million cells in that one area 
and that would be no bigger than the tip of a ballpoint pen. But all during that time, as those cells are growing very rapidly, the heightened metabolic activity is bringing blood to the area and surrounding the tumor as it grows, and even the mammary artery, which is up here uh, looking like the Mississippi River of blood coming in, this is a classic sign of cancer and this is when you have to take some action. And the point is, is that what you're looking at is a circular appearance of the blood supply feeding the cancer. The cancer is just a little bit warmer than the rest of the breast, but the heavy heat that's in this area is the blood supply. The blood supply is, is normal, does not indicate that these areas themselves have a problem, but the blood supply is surrounding the cancer. You'll notice there's no swollen mammary artery on this side because there's no cancer on this side. Now, these are typical studies that we see. The breasts look normal. This lady in the upper left needs to have her neck adjusted by a chiropractor, but the rest of these pictures are very normal, and this is very similar to the picture frame slides that we just saw a couple of moments ago. Now, these are more typical studies. This picture in the upper right shows a lot of lymphatic congestion. This lady's not drinking enough water. Her breasts look fine, but she has congestion, and this will eventually give trouble. As you come down here, you can see early fibrocystic changes. This breast in the middle has, has a lot of little spotty appearances of toxicity and probably feels lumpy and bumpy. But as long as there's no circles, you usually do not have a cancer. Cancer is usually a circle, but not all circles are cancer, and as I'll show you in just a moment. But we could clean all of these little spotty fibrocystic appearances and toxicity appearances up by the use of our homeopathic detox protocol, which I will explain in just a moment. These breasts here are all positive thermograms for cancer. All the, in this one breast here, which needs a mastectomy, there's nothing else you could reasonably do. Homeopathy is good, but it, it really needs surgery sometimes. All these little circles are little nests of tumor, and the smart thing to do would be to have this breast removed. I've very rarely seen an appearance like this, and in fact, this picture came from the website of Medi-Therm, the manufacturer of the thermogram unit, We've been doing thermograms now since the year 2000. I've done way over 1,000 with a lot of follow-ups. We have some women in our practice who have come in as much as 13 years in a row since we started doing them and have been stable all the way along. This breast here in the middle shows a cancer. This breast on the right upper here is uh, a ductal carcinoma. This is a cancer. This is the first picture. This is a cancer. All of these require some type of natural treatment. We try to avoid, avoid surgery where necessary. Sometimes it is necessary, but if you do homeopathic detox, you can clean up a lot of things before it gets to this point. The whole idea is an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure is a very uh, telling statement in this, in this regard. Now, these are benign pathologies that sometimes cause us to pull our hair out. This middle picture on the lower level here, this lady thought she had a tumor, so we put a pointer on it, and there was no tumor there. A lot of congestion in the breast, which can be cleaned up with homeopathy, but she had a big thyroid cancer that showed up. Uh, this, uh, this is very abnormal. Now, this picture here on the right lower level, shows a lot of toxicity, but there's no circles. We could clean this up with homeopathy. This, this picture in the right upper level shows a more toxicity that we can clean up with homeopathy. Middle here, homeopathy. Upper left, homeopathy. Now we come down to this lower picture here uh, on the left side in the, in, in the lower level, and we see what looks like a cancer. It's a circular lesion with something in the middle. This turned out to be a benign cyst. All cancers are circles, but not all circles are cancer. But this lady actually had to have a needle put in there to figure out exactly what it was. 
because it looked like a cancer and we had to go further. Now this is the blow up of that one slide that showed the two centimeter ductal carcinoma in situ. Now this is our detox protocol which uh, I've done webinars that are way longer on the DesBio uh, website. Cerebramax, Spinalmax, and Matrix support Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and Detox 1, 2, and 3 uh, Monday through Thursday in your drinking water is enough to detox. The webinars and lectures that I've done are on the blog part of our website, and I invite you to go look at that part of the website. I am the chief medical advisor to the company that manufactured these formulas, and I helped develop them. Now, this is what detox will do. This is a lady that uh, uh, came in in May 2009. You can see she's got congestion in her breast, nothing that looks like cancer, but she has congestion. So we put her on the detox protocol, and in the end of the summer, this is what her breasts look like. Simply by putting the detox drops in her water and drinking the water all day long, we have achieved this result. Now here's another patient, EC, April 2008. This is what her breasts look like. We put her on the detox, and uh, months later, this is what her breasts look like. It cleans you up. By simply taking the detox protocol, it stimulates the body's elimination pathways to get rid of toxins, not just in the breast, by the way. It works in, in the whole body, and you can see that it is effective. So here's another patient, GH, November 2008. Uh, several months later, you can see that she looks cleaner. Here's a patient, uh, February 2009, June 2009. Really, it really is very, very effective to use comprehensive homeopathy in cleaning up toxicity in the body. I personally take my drops every day and have taken them for a long time because we live in a toxic world, we pump gas, we handle chemicals, and we need some help. Now this lady looked terrible, JJ, 2007. Um, in fact, this is, this is one of our patients from the practice. I actually wanted her to go get either a mammogram or an MRI or an ultrasound of her breast to make sure she didn't have cancer. But she says, I don't think I do. I just want to take your drops. So here we are in the earlier part of the next year. And you can see that we actually did clear her up. Looks, looks great. And we took another picture the following year. And you can see that she continued doing the detox protocol. And she cleaned up even further. Now here's a patient that actually had their head picture taken. We see a lot of patients with dental issues, and these issues here were painless areas in the mouth, in the jawbone, where the patient had a Lyme disease infection situated. This uh, needed further, more intensive care. And this last picture here shows a patient with an impacted tooth. Every tooth in your mouth sits on a different acupuncture meridian, and this patient ended up, after 20 years, having emphysema. Of course, he was also a cigarette smoker, but having that tooth in place made all the difference in making things worse. Thermography is a very good tool for advanced looks at a lot of things. Thank you very much for watching.